oh shit, yes I'm inside, yes I used to wear fake glasses, and yes I am that serious. Adam Lambert, getting older. It's a Billy Irish cover. I googled it. Yeah. Adam Lambert. Hey, man, what can I say? First of all, I want to give a big and gigantic shout out to all of you Adam Lambert fans who have really, really helped push me over the edge. If it wasn't for y'all, I may not still even be making these videos. That is an honest to God fact. I really stopped. I really was thinking about stop doing them. And then I put out the Adam Lambert song and people hit the buttons. And so far, y'all haven't disappointed me yet. Even if it was me, it really disappointed y'all. On that last one, the, the Ordinary World, I did try to attribute that song to Journey. And, in fact, it was a Duran Duran song. So that's why we started this one off by making sure we Googled the cover. Now, I have never heard the Billie Eilish song. I don't know if I've ever heard more than one Billie Eilish song. I actually think I've heard the song called Billie Eilish more than I've heard Billie Eilish songs. So I don't know this record, so I'm excited to hear it. But that means this is a fresh take. I have never heard the original version, so I'm only going to know Adam Lambert. So I'm kind of excited about this one. It's almost like listening to a brand new single of just his. But y'all didn't hear to come here to tell me English, my first language. Anyways, y'all didn't come here to just hear me yabber on about me. No, no. Y'all came here to see me react. To the one and only Adam Lambert. So here it is, getting older. Let's find out if it sets it off. But first, but first... Two things real quick. The first thing is something I always have to do. And y'all know what that is. That is the YouTube thing. So like the video if you want to. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. And please leave a comment to help Mr. Al go. Rhythm. Every time you guys interact with this video. It gives YouTube the confidence. It's just this video to someone else. And that really is everything to a small time creator. I appreciate the hell out of all y'all. Thank you so very much. Now, for those of you that are, in fact, normal listeners, you will, or watchers, y'all know that I only usually wear the cowboy hat when we're doing country songs, but my hair looks like dog crap. So, hats on for the guys. Let's go. All right. All right. I'm ready. I got no idea what to expect. Let's get it. Now, I did have to play a little bit of the lyrics because I was just trying to make sure that this song matched the first few lyrics of the Getting Older. So I do think I've listened to the first 10 seconds of this song. But I was only listening to it to make sure it matches what I was going to hear from Billie Eilish to make sure that it actually was the cover because I really did put my entire foot in my mouth on that last one. All right, let's go. And if you're wondering why we're watching the visualizer and not the music videos, because what well, the copyright gods have struck me, they don't like I'm it. I'm getting older. I think I'm aging well. I wish. I mean, do you know me too, Mr. Lambert? Me too. Uh, uh. Someone had told me I'd be done. I'm getting older. I think I'm aging well. This voice really is beautiful, though. Told me I'd be doing this by myself. So effortless sound is reasons that I'm thankful. There's a lot I'm grateful for, but it's different when the stranger's always waiting at your door. Which is ironic because the strangers seem to want me more than anyone before. Too bad they I realized I crave pity When I retell a story I make everything sound worse Can't shake the feeling That I'm just bad at healing 
melody on this thing is really goddamn cool, man. Eight sentence sounds rehearsed, which is ironic, because when I wasn't honest, I was still be. That's why he has a connection to this song. You can do it the modern way too. It's something like old, but new, but classic, but modern. I don't know. I can't put my finger on it. Maybe it's the melody. Maybe it's the tempo. Maybe it matches more of an old school, like 50s, 60s tempo. Do, 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 do. And so for some reason that gives me more of a retro vibe But his voice makes it sound very modern Because he's not singing it like they would have back then But also since I know it's a Billie Eilish song I know that it, she would have sang it more modern How much different are the two? Are the two versions all that much different? Because I could imagine that When it comes to somebody as creative as Billie You kind of let Billie do Billie And you kind of do Adam and I'd have to imagine he's kind of done this all like a little bit different. So I, I, I have not listened to anything more than the first 10 seconds of both songs up until the, the minute 42 we're at right now. So how much are they alike? Like, is he, is he holding the same breath patterns? Is he, is he picking the same points to punch? I'm curious. I'd like to know. I mean, I, I'm going to give it a listen, but then I won't have anything to compare it to. Y'all have listened to these songs several times, I'm sure. I'm Honestly, this song makes me think, excuse me, Ashley, would, I mean, I, I, you don't have to, you don't want to, but, um, I, I don't, I don't, I would you, you know, would you like to, would you, would you like to slow dance with me? Cause my mom says it's okay. Like she says, if I really like a girl, I can, I can, we can slow dance. I can feel like I'm back in middle school, you were asking, bro. This is just that, like... Hands on hips. Some slow swaying. Looking over. Oh. Not looking at each other's eyes. At least that's my that's a cool way to say prioritize way to break it to keep myself together and prioritize my pleasure because to be honest I just wish that what I promise would depend on what I'm given wasn't my decision Ultra. And when the song's played at a high school prom, you know what's gonna happen? You know I got the hotel. Jimmy said they're gonna take the other one. Damn, son, get 
run that back. I'm so I just want to be able to hit one note like that in life. Just one time I want to be able to go like to climb up to that and just I mean I could yell but not sound I don't see Billy doing that though. No offense. I love Billy Eilish. I think she's creative as hell, but I don't think she's hitting that note like that. I promise I'll be fine. I've had some drama. Felt things I didn't wanna. Was too afraid to tell you. But now I think it's time. God damn. I just gotta say it, man. It has to be said. Adam Lambert has one of those voices that's just amazing. And you know what? Something has to be said about the idea of kind of putting your career on hold to be the front for somebody else's creation. Now I know I've listened. I've listened to a couple of his versions of the, um, couple different versions of his Queen stuff. And I've done that on my own time because I, I, I really enjoy Queen. And so I wanted to hear what he was doing. But the but the idea that he he does, he does put his own career kind of on pause. I know he's put out stuff and stuff like that. But like you have to imagine if you're touring that much, it's really hard to get find time to be the best version of your own creativity. So this idea of covers is really brilliant. Gotta show people that he's still one of the fucking man. Still dominates in the vo vocal range. Can really do things that are incredible. I do, I do, I do ooh, ooh, love me some Lambert. Anyways, Adam Lambert getting older, sets it off, makes the playlist again, does an incredible goddamn job. Who knew that this song even existed? He could have told me this was his own song, and I would have thought, damn, the man is incredible, does amazing things. That voice is seductive. Or something, I don't know. Anyways, Adam Lambert getting older, sets it off, makes the playlist. I thought that was incredible. Anyways, like the video if you want to, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and please leave a comment to help Mr. Al go with him. Every time you guys interact with this video, it gives YouTube the confidence to suggest this video to someone else, and that is everything to a small-time creator. I appreciate the hell out of all y'all. Thank you so very much. And also, y'all can do me one more favor here in about a couple seconds when the video goes bloop. Bloop, and pops up here on the screen. Can y'all watch one, please? That really makes YouTube get a little spicy. <laughs> yeah, they likes it a little bit. Anyways, hit that button. Like this video. Do the dang things to help your boy out. Also, if you subscribe, you can help me strive for five. We just gonna end this out on a whole bunch of terrible rhymes. That was bad. I shouldn't have done that. Proof that the hair looks like crap. Hey, yo, let's go. Anyways... Yes, I'm inside. Yes, I wear fake glasses sometimes. And yes, I am that serious. I'm out. I don't remember, Toss. Awesome. <laughs>